Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to mute words or phrases on Twitter. I'm gonna show you on a mobile device first and then we'll hop over to the desktop and I'll timestamp that down below for you to pick the one that you are using. All right, so here we are and I'm going to go ahead and open up the Twitter app. And then once I open the app, I'm here on my home feed. I want to swipe to the right to bring up all of the different settings here over on the left hand side. I wanna scroll down to where I see settings and privacy. So go ahead and tap on settings and privacy. And then once we're here under settings and privacy, we want to go to where we see privacy and safety. So tap on the privacy and safety option here. And then once we're under privacy and safety, we'll see something that says mute and block. If we go to the mute and block option here, we'll see a few different things. We want to tap on the one that says muted words. If we go and tap on muted words, you can see here that I'm not muting any words at the current moment, but if we go and tap on the add button in the lower right hand corner there, wherever you may see it on your device, and we tap on the add button here, we can actually type in a word or phrase that we want to mute to never see in our timeline ever again. So for me, I'm going to mute the word Wordle, W-O-R-D-L-E. I want to hide that from my timeline, so make sure that this is checked off here. I also want to hide it from my notifications, so make sure that the second option is checked as well. And then, and then what people do you want to include? For me, I want to hide it from anyone, and then even from people that I don't follow. And then the mute timing, which will be, listen, maybe you don't want to have a spoiler for a specific show or movie. You can do this for a couple of weeks, and then that will automatically tail off once this duration is over, okay? And then once you're done, go ahead and tap on the save option there. And as you can see, that word or phrase will be muted in the way that you want it to be muted. Now let's hop over to the desktop and I'll show you how to do it over there. All right, if you are on a desktop and using Twitter there, what you will need to do to mute a word or phrase is go ahead and go to your Twitter homepage here by going to twitter.com and logging in. And then once we are here, we want to click on the more option here with the three horizontal dots. And then once we are here, we'll see the option that says settings and privacy. Under settings and privacy, what we want to do is go to the privacy and safety option here. And then once we're under privacy and safety, go to the mute and block option here. Under the mute and block option, we'll see a few different things. We want to select the muted words option here. And then as you can see, when you mute words, you won't get any new notifications or tweets in your timeline that include these words or phrases. Go ahead and click on got it here. And then as you can see, I've already muted one word or phrase, Wordle. If you want to mute something, all you have to do is go here to the addition symbol here, the add addition symbol, and then just type the word or phrase here in the top box. And then down below, you can see where you can hide it from your timeline. You can remove it from your notifications by these check boxes here. And then you can hide it from anyone or people that you don't follow, however you want to do that. And even if you want a specific duration, like if you're trying to avoid spoilers for a show or a movie, you can do that all below here. Once all of your settings are good to go, click the save button here and that phrase or word will be removed. And you can see it is now muted here in the settings. Now, you can click this here to unmute the phrase, the little red icon here. So if you've muted a bunch of stuff and you wanna go and unmute, uh, you go ahead and just click on the unmute or the red option there, and that will unmute that from your Twitter account. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great tutorials just like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.